away, and here comes Michael. Now watch, he's going to have to dunk his head. At least it looks like he's going to hit it for hitting dunks. Let's see. TF gang, it's your boy TF Kicks with Chris coming to you with another episode today. We're looking at the Jordan 5 Metallic. Um, I did a poll on my Instagram. Um, it was about, I think that was Saturday, this past Saturday, regarding the history kind of behind them and when the original pair of OGs dropped. Uh, and a lot of you guys had some um, interesting responses. So I figured, I was like, man, I'll make sure on this episode I kind of delve into the history of the shoe as well as, um, you know, why I decided to put the white laces in them because I know that's probably going to throw a couple people for, for a loop. But as you can see, the results are to the left of how everybody did on that. So shout out to all my followers that got that answer correct, which was 1990. For everybody else, y'all pay a little bit more attention to this video and we'll kind of go down everything. Uh, first off, the shoe saw its inception in 1990, uh, particularly it was when the Bulls played the, uh, the Bucks um, in the playoffs. MJ put up 48 points one game and uh, he was particularly wearing the metallics. So uh, a couple of, I think about two or three of those games, he actually had the white laces in, which was major back then because everybody was kind of stagnant. And it was kind of known tradition that you rock the same color laces as the actual shoe. Uh, so to stand out and do the white was definitely iconic and perfect Jordan style. Um, they did these really, really good uh, justice when it comes to kind of fitting the original, the OG kind of look. Obviously, it would have been nice to see that Nike Air on the booty. But other than that, man, these are, these are really solid shoe. The details are really cool. Now, they don't come with the white laces. I took some white laces out of, uh, I can't remember which pair, but I took some of those laces out and kind of swapped them. The dope thing is they do come with, they had an OG lake lock, lace lock, um, and I believe the fire reds came with those as well. Uh, but again, they blessed us with the ball markers too. Um, so you can swap them out, you know, depending on what you like, depending on what you're into. Uh, another thing I did, now I did this on my own. The box that they come with is just a regular, you know, black and gold uh, Jordan brand box. I, uh, I was able to cop, uh, I think it was from Finish Line. Finish Line still may have some on their website, but it's kind of like a little traveling uh, sneaker case. They've got the Nike Air one, and then they got a Jordan one. So this is the Jordan brand. I think it was a nice pairing with the metallics, just a nice little, you know, mesh up and give them a little flavor, give them a little style. Um, but overall, really impressed with the shoe. Uh, if anybody's kind of concerned about the materials, the materials are very, very similar to the uh, the Great Fives that came out a couple months back. I think that was about five months ago. So materials very similar to that. So just make sure you you know you use your crate protection, your Jason Mark, whatever you like to use on the shoes will be ideal, especially in wet conditions. I strongly just recommend not wearing them, you know, when you're gonna be in doing those morning dew tea times. Uh, this is a great shoe to wear like on really nice courses uh, where you got a lot of sun and you're not really in any conditions that could cause the shoe to get wet. Even with the protection, we all know that new buck, you know, the new buck doesn't always just stand the test of time even with the protection. So just kind of keep that in mind. Otherwise, um, material wise, everything else with the shoe is, is cool. We still have got this, you know, this, uh, the bubble, the Nike Air bubble that's iconic on this shoe. Um, and one of the other things, I, I'm a stiffer for details, so I really like how they did the little triangle there and they made sure to kind of throw that. I guess that would be, that's the metallic print, but you could call it like a cement print as well in there. So that was a nice little, you know, nice little vibe. And then obviously you get the reflective OG tongue with the red Jumpman logo, just gives them that pop, that pop of color. So in my opinion, there were a lot of fives that dropped this year between the fire reds, between the, uh, Rather good than lucky between the um, the love. What was it? The love and uh, oh man, the the pack that came out for the Harden Park uh, championship. Can't remember it, but ton of different colorways. And then we even had the um, the colorway that was that was for Winged Foot. That entire I would say that entire uh, collection was cool. The fives were good. 
but it's really cool to see Nike kind of sum up the year with the OG pair. I think that was a classy move and giving us, uh, you know, the true sneakerheads what they kind of want. Now, people that are just kind of delving into sneakers via golf is also dope to kind of get that history in there. Because, you know, I know there's a lot of guys out here that this is actually like their first pair, pair of Jordans just wearing in general. Um, and it happens to be a golf shoe, which is actually kind of a cool transition because when I grew up, it was all about, you know, actual basketball Nike Jordan shoes. So it's really cool to see that segue. Um, and it's kind of a part of kind of growing the culture of golf and growing the game by coming out with these sneakers that grab sneaker heads that are already in the sneakers and then kind of show them the world of golf and show them how cool golf is and show them how uh, you know, inclusive that the sport can be and how we need to get it there. So I really like the fact that that's what we're doing with that. Um, but yeah, overall, the shoe is a great shoe. Uh, you know, take a couple clips, take a couple looks at uh, the video I got after. It's just going to kind of show you, you know, some nice flavor, flavorful uh, looks and, and feels for it. So otherwise, I appreciate you tuning in. It's your boy TF Kicks with Chris. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I've actually got a really dope... Uh, I think I'm gonna do a really dope giveaway uh, coming up. Um, probably once I hit about 500 followers on Instagram. I think I'm currently at like four, maybe 435. So once I get to 500, I'm gonna flip some things up. So stay tuned and make sure you subscribe because that's how you'll be able to keep staying in the know. Otherwise, y'all be blessed. Have a good one.